Yes, here is the 14 inch Celestron Cascrain telescope with an AP7 CCT camera and then uh, temperature focuser here is the classic instrument pan panel for the paramount I I had to bypass it because the cable for the CCD camera did not fit any of the ports but it works well The Celestron, and I have a heater next to the mount. So when the telescope is covered, covered, excuse me, it uh, prevents dew forming. This one have a last. I have had this telescope for seven years now and it never had any problems. I never have problems with telescopes. <laughs> and here is the MX, oh, MX Me Face CCD mounted parallel to the Celestron telescope and uh, it has a uh, 400 millimeter uh, lens for wide field and uh, if I'm lost in space with a main telescope I can find my way with this smaller MX Nisaisten CCD camera and telephoto lens. Okay. I will I will put on uh, the do cap. I just I just put the ca handheld camera down. Yes, I have removed uh, the cover of the telescope and you can take a look inside and see oh yes this is nice And now I put the do cap on. I just have to stop for a moment. Okay, now it's ready for action. So I I turn on I switch on the scope here on and it starts to make it make it strange noises. I thought.
not the best sound. As you can see, this mounting was not designed for latitude 60 degrees north, so I had to put on a tilt the whole mounting. So I have this. I have it tilted like this. Okay, we go inside and see if we can start it. Okay, we go into the control room for telescopes. And here is the here is the computer for the Paramount. I start the fan for cooling. I also start the temperature focuser from Optic. It will uh, find the right temperature and make the correct focus adjustment. And now I start this one. This old computer with an uh, old computer with ESA card. In uh, here we start. Okay. Booting the machine. Oh, come on. Good sign when I see the mouse arrow. Okay. Okay, so I start CCD soft. I I I connect to the camera. I set temperature on to minus 51.9 degrees which is, which is work well here because this 
this is Norway and it's always cold outside. So it will go to approximately minus 52 degrees. Okay, it is ready for taking an image. And then I start the sky, the sky six. Yes, this is Orion. Okay. And I... Telescope link established. Uh -huh, the moon has not been home. Okay, finding home. Yes, now it should be ready. I just take it out of the home position, which is under the horizon here in Norway. Messier 35 Okay I put it on uh, this Comet C2009 P1 Garad and we can go out and see how the telescope is slowing. So I just I just started confirm slew yes and we can go out and see. Okay, the telescope is slowing. A little bit snow in the air, but it's okay. Wow.
Yes. Hopefully, it is no pointing at the uh, comet Garad. It it is a little bit snow, and but the, the sky is clear and partly clear, and the moon is up. Okay. I can take the telescope to its park position, then I go inside. Okay, inside. Yes, and we see where is pointing? It is here. Here is the the Big Dipper, and the comet is there. So I want to park the telescope because there is a blizzard outside with snow. So I I will park the telescope. I put it on the right side of the mount before I before I issue the park command. We can look at how is the temperature. Camera temperature is minus forty four. 